hello everyone so today we are going to uh, improve the magic sword effect that we worked on previously to have different colors and different rates and customize them basically according to our needs within the blueprint so we are going to set up some parameters that we can change in the runtime for each instance for example I can take this and change it into any color I want like this okay so this is what we are going to work on today right so this is the effect that we have already created in the previous episode and so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to implement a way to customize these colors and other properties within this uh, blueprint itself so you can have different type of colors or different effects uh, different uh, spawn rate or things like that so basically you can customize this effect uh, by changing those parameters so first to change these colors let's add uh, linear color linear color effect where well, two of them I oh, know one is enough for now mm, I'll call it uh, color and I'll make it red then um, in color here I'll bind it to main color is a parameter both Okay, save now let's open this blueprint and under in the construction script uh, get the sword effect set Nagara variables in linear color. Variable name user dot main color. Let's promote this to a parameter to a variable main color and compile. So now it vanished. That should be because I didn't set the color here. Yeah. So if I set a color here, and alpha to one, you see it starts appearing. And now we can easily change the effect as well. See, and one more thing if let's let me make this yellow, so like a poison kind of effect. See, but uh, the color on sword doesn't match. So let me open the material and here oh we already have MCU color and this uh, mesh only have single one material so get the sword 
sorry and actually not the sword this fuller set vector parameter value on material and we can drag the main color here and connect it to this parameter value emissive color didn't change oh there is a space right changed see now the color on the blade is also changed awesome all right now let's set some more parameters uh, spawn rate for both smoke and uh, blood that drips this uh, I think float yeah because we can set decimal values also I'll set to red blood red smoke let me get rid of this space okay now similarly Get the sword effect set float set Niagara variable float use dot smoke rate promote variable rate smoke oh this should be red smoke the reason I put red first to keep them together like when we have more more variables when red all the reds will be together and similarly red blood this one also promoter variable blood Some should be 90. No, this one by default 200. And let me make them visible so that we can change them in, in the world as well, in the world outline. So, for example, if I set the red blood to 200. It's not like changing. Oh wait, I didn't bind it. Red blood. Red smoke.
This should be an ID. Now it should work. Yeah, see, it's working. Okay. Uh, one more variable I would like to set is this uh, gravity. So gravity should be a vector. So use parameter vector. And one more vector. Plot. smoke gravity blood then gravity smoke let's check the default values this is minus 200 this is plus 10 set Niagara variable vector 3 this should be it that's the name gravity blood user dot gravity blood whenever we set a user variable we should put user dot from our to variable gravity blood smoke okay did I bind them no gravity blood gravity small right now here yeah you don't see blood dropping that's because here the gravity is zero if I set it to minus 50 you see it dropping a bit minus uh, 200 it's like this so you can customize your effects as you need and for the smoke if we want we can set something like this so it moves up fast see right now let me change the default color back to red compile oh it's too dark Okay, let's have a couple of them. Right. 
to it. Now you can change them as you need. You can customize their behavior, their look. Why this color is not changed? Well, let me try check this. Maybe that's because of the multiplication. Ah, yeah, yeah. because this becomes gray, uh, gray because of this material. It's blue. Blue multiplied by yellow becomes gray. That's what happening here. But that's okay. If I want, we can make them smoke also move it down. But yeah, so now you get the idea. You can have like different uh, magic effects or different powers in your game, and so you can change the effects to match that. For example, some blood effect, some poison effect some i don't know blue electric effects something so yeah uh that's you can use it like this so thanks for watching as always the project files will be available here for the download link would be in the description below and if you would like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye